I just want to say again, those, those uh, primary emphasis of the pastoral plan, uh, catechesis, evangelization, and leadership for catechesis and evangelization, right? This is, this is our pastoral plan going forward. This, uh, this uh, plan, the campaign of works of mercy, this comes out of the work of the planning committee, the planning commission that was so much a part of this process early on. And uh, they proposed that we focus on works of mercy as a strategy for our own growth as discipleship and for evangelization and outreach to others. And that's what we are planning to do. We want to invite ourselves. I know so many people in our parishes are already involved in all kinds of volunteer work, all kinds of great works for their neighbor. But we want to grow that number. Uh, on our DMI this last, I think it was about 30% of folks who said that they were involved in a work of mercy at least once a month. We would like to grow that and get more and more of our Catholic people involved in a work of mercy. And then the piece that I talked about today that is so important is that we are reflecting on the work that we do in Jesus' name and that we are praying around that and that we are coming together to share that. So here's what we're hoping to do. We want everyone to dedicate themselves to a work of mercy, hopefully, if you can, at least monthly, right? Where you're doing some good work of mercy, corporate work of mercy for your neighbors and then, and then form together into groups and families who are going to pray around that service and reflect upon where you encounter Christ in that service and let that feed your faith and help you to grow. And when we get that established, when we get that established and we feel like, okay, we're doing pretty, pretty well here, we're making some progress, then the call will go out and we'll say, reach out to your Catholic friends who you know are not involved anymore and invite them first to join you in doing this work of mercy and to praying about it, being part of the small group that is supporting you in doing this work. Invite them to be part of that, right? Because we believe, as Matthew 25 proclaims, that as we serve Christ and others, we will be formed and strengthened as disciples of Jesus, right? We will be called to salvation through that good work, right? And then eventually we're gonna put out another call and we're gonna say, all your friends who are unchurched, all your friends who may not yet know Jesus, who haven't thought about Jesus, haven't talked about Jesus or prayed to Jesus in a long time, invite them to join you in that work of mercy. Invite you to join the, uh, invite them to join you in reflecting around that, right? So doing those good works that Jesus calls us to do, coming together into groups to pray about that, reflect about that, let that build us in faith. That's the whole program. That's the whole strategy, right? That's it. That's the whole strategy, simple as can be. The great thing about this strategy, we hope that many parishes will establish these connections and help you find ways to serve and establish small groups. If the parish is so busy with the hundreds and thousands of baptisms that they are conducting every year and the dozens and dozens of new Catholics that are coming in through our CIA and all of this growth that they are seeing and experiencing and they just don't have time to do this, guess what? You can do this. Go to your pastor and say, I have heard about this campaign of mercy and I would like to volunteer myself to help invite my fellow Catholics in the pews to do this, right? You do not need a theology degree to be able to do a good work for a neighbor and to form a group to pray about that and to reflect upon that. So go to your pastors and ask to be part of doing that in your parishes. And even if it doesn't catch in your parish, you can do it in your homes, right? You can invite people, you can be that small, Christian community, that small Catholic community that is calling others to serve Christ and to love him, right? And you can do that with or without the structure, right? Now we're gonna to try to be providing resources, we're gonna provide some communication and connection, and we're gonna grow into that over the next year. But you can do this. It's the simplest strategy in the world. It's the strategy I believe that Jesus gives us. So thank you all very much.